Ah, oh, damn. Keep doing that. Oh, there we go. Nice. This is like epic dark. I am in darkness. 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 Anyway. It is now 2.22 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And I'm now watching Channel 3. Can you guess what's on TV? Can you? Of course you can't. Because I'm a loser. It's one life to live. Actually, one life to live isn't on right now. It's a commercial. For some really stupid stewardess show. And they're all wearing blue. Anyway, Pan Am. Gotta be the dumbest show ever made. I hope that's not what they're canceling. Uh, what life to live for? Awesome, it's gonna be another medical show. Yeah, the Chew is replacing all my children, and some medical dickhead joke replacing one life to live. But anyway, one life to live is on. <laughs> now they have. Thank you for your contribution to this, mom. Now. <laughs> I saw the meter grow up, so I don't know if you actually heard her pass gas, but I'm gonna tell you she did it anyway. Anywho. We have Natalie now talking to Vicky. Or. Oh, crap. I turned it too late. Nice. I'm going to make this short and sweet. You stood by. Oh, great. Now Clint is threatening. Um. Who? Huh? Oh, her name is Dorian. Clint is threatening Dorian. Now they want Echo to be freed. Seriously? Soaps are so lame sometimes. Wow. I can't... Oh, gotta put this back up. Now, why would he do his bidding? What's wrong with Clint? I mean, ever since he gave up his heart, he's been, I mean, no, got that new heart, he's been a real pussy. Wow. So we're still watching the show, wondering what's going to happen. Wondering how this is all going to go down. And I have to ask one very, very important question that's kind of been he just uh, brought up again and reminded me. How the hell are we going to uh, do this whole Todd thing? I'm going to turn this on real quick. Anyway, there we go. Ah, you can see me. I'm sorry about that. Anyway, how are they going to do the Todd thing? Because um, uh, the guy who lost his wife is going to be after Todd, but he's after the fake Todd. So what happens with the real Todd? Uh, comes into the picture and he realizes that the guy he's been after is not really Todd, so is he still going to pursue him? Or what's he going to do? Is he going to just drop it? Is he going to be so, you know, baffled by this whole turn of events? Will his revenge burn bright? Will it backfire? Will he be his own undoing? Like so many vendettas hold. If you've ever seen the movie V for, Ven uh, v for Vendetta, even though he wins, he still dies at the end. Because he gets shot a whole sh crap load of times. And then he gets put on the train. And Well, if you haven't seen V for Vendetta, spoiler alert, he blows up and blows up Parliament. But he's on the train that blows up. Anywho. Ha ha. If you haven't seen it yet, you're just slow anyway. And this is all about one life to live. Ah, uh, the fake Todd is kissing his fake wife. Wait, would she be fake too? Maybe she has a clone. Maybe the real Todd ran off with the real Taya. Maybe the real Taya is somewhere with the real Clint, who's not really dying. All right, too many fake people. I don't think they do that. Anyway. <sighs> Captivated. Interesting. Intriguing. Also, in my last video, someone... Uh, I, I posted that uh, the note, even though that was thrown away, or ripped up and then thrown away, 
someone pointed out a very cool thing in one of my comments saying, what about the tape? Did it actually show him erasing it? I haven't seen that part. And no, apparently neither did he. Did it show him erasing it? No, it did, but it showed Natalie and trying to play it and it was erased. But you never know. So I'm hoping maybe he didn't erase the tape like the dude said. He said he, he probably erased the tape. He thinks he erased the tape. It's like 99.9% .9 he erased the tape. But cross your fingers, guys. Maybe he didn't erase it. Maybe he just switched it out because there wasn't enough time to erase it. Because to erase it, you have to press record and let it play out. You can't fast forward it. Otherwise, it records you fast forwarding it. So they know it was recorded over. So you have to record and let it play nothing. And then you have to be real quiet. Because any sound, they'll be able to hear it. So let's just hope he popped out the tape, put in another one, and the tape is sitting at his house, and Natalie's going to find it. So that way they finally find out that uh, Brody's not the father. I'm not the biggest uh, Natalie and John fan. They made a good couple, but yeah, I think they're pretty much done. I just really don't like Brody's character because anybody that, you know, could take a guy's kid and then lie to the guy's face is just a serious douchebag. I mean, that's that's what actually got me, you know, not watching soaps in the, in the first place is because the whole baby swap thing way back when with um, uh, uh, Babe and uh, Bianca. And that just got me all messed up. Oh, and Kelly. So you didn't know who had whose baby, all that crap, and everyone knew and everyone had to watch their kid raised by someone else although they didn't know and then all these tests and everything else and i i had a few of my family members laughing going i mean in action movies with guys i mean we just shoot each other we beat the crap out of each other but chicks man you you've got to really look in the mirror baby swapping and stealing of children is is what interests you because i just can't watch that stuff i mean you, you put a guy on the guy on a, you know walk the plank into a shark pit and guys just look like yeah it's macho it's kind of backwards that you know we we look at baby theft as you ladies are just sick and i had a few i had a few friends on youtube laughing about that because i i commented on it going you know murderous you know we get it but baby swapping and baby stealing you girls are just sick now just go shoot them like a normal person would and then they posted a bunch of stuff behind that but getting way off subject here um Still watching it, of course. I'll probably post another video in like an hour anyway. Just to see how it's going to start tomorrow. But those the those are the, uh, conclus uh, uh, the, the big questions that I'm wondering now with this video. Is how is this whole vengeance going to uh, affect... Um, now I keep forgetting his name. The blonde guy who just lost his, uh, lost his wife. Rex, there we go. Uh, and I forgot her name. Gigi, there we go. Who my sister cried, by the way. Not the, not the one that you uh, saw in one of my uh, videos, or the one I was commenting about. The one that yeah. Anyway, but yeah, she she cried when Gigi was lost. And we we made fun of her for it, but it is kind of depressing, and you have to wonder: Is Rex really going to lose himself to this? Is he going to, you know, become a very very darker self? Is it going to cost him a lot more than just time? I mean, is he going to lose his son in the process of this? A lot, you know, his son's respect for him, his son's love. And what is, what is it doing to him? All these backwater deals will eventually catch up with him. How is he going to get back at Todd? Will this war never end? Or will uh, eventually his son's love and Gigi's memory finally turn him back on the right path? That's the, that's the main focus that I'm on right now. Oh, and how will, the still continuing, how will John find out that Liam is his kid? And the third one, what about John and Todd? Is Todd the real Todd? I'm hoping, freaking hoping, my favorite Todd. Anyway, that is all for now. I'll probably post another video about an hour, if not tomorrow. So you guys, have fun. Keep on watching. One life to live, because that's all we've got.